Hey guys, it's Lala. Welcome back to my channel. So today is a cooking video. It's the chicken bacon ranch casserole. It is so delicious, super easy. And if you like these cooking videos and recipe videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have not, I'd love to have you as part of my friends and family here on YouTube. Without further ado, let's get into the video. We need about a pound and a half of chicken. These are chicken breast tenderloins. That's what I'm choosing to use, but you're gonna end up cutting these up and cooking them. You're also going to need eight ounces of softened um, reduced fat cream cheese. You can use regular if you want, but in order for this to, you know, match up to, to be point friendly. You're also going to need, I'm using 12 ounces of frozen broccoli and I'm using 12 ounces of frozen corn. I believe it's four ounces of light mayonnaise four ounces of a light or fat-free sour cream, eight ounces of, I'm using reduced fat Fiesta blend cheese. You can choose what you'd like, but if you're on WW, make sure you uh, change your points. I'm using the Great Value Real Bacon Pieces. I believe it's eight tablespoons, but as you've noticed, the measurements are all on screen. You're also going to need garlic powder, dill, parsley, minced or chopped onion, black pepper, and salt. The first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut these down into small cubes and then we're going to cook them until they're all the way through. Now that I've cut these up, I'm going to go ahead and put these on the stove, cook them through, and then we'll be back. While my chicken is cooking, something you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and thaw these out. These need to be thawed out. So I'm gonna put them in a strainer and run some cold water over them so they thaw out. Um, you don't wanna cook them. Now if you're using fresh broccoli, then you wanna steam it first, but if you're using a frozen corn, and broccoli, then you just want to make sure it's thawed out. So I'm going to put in a strainer and run some water over it. All right, so the chicken is cooked. It's still waiting though. We're not there yet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to mix our eight ounces of sour cream. Our eight ounce, I'm sorry. We're going to mix our eight ounces of cream cheese, our four ounces of sour cream, and four ounces of light mayonnaise, and all of our seasonings. If you OBN, uh, engaging, use on my agenda. Request my chariot get ya. The doors open. Uh, take that hot road and hop in. Uh. Open up. Okay, so now once your mixture is all mixed up, you're going to add your chicken, half a cup of cheese, and your broccoli and corn. I probably should have gotten a bigger bowl. Okay, I've transferred the stuff into a bigger bowl, so I'm gonna add my chicken. Remember guys, this is just for two people. I'm also going to add my corn and my broccoli. I'm gonna go ahead and mix all this. Now I'm going to add half a cup of cheese and I'm going to add my fourth a cup of real bacon pieces. Now you should have another half a cup of cheese left and you're going to be putting that on top. There's my bacon. So now that I've added my cheese and my bacon, you want to give this another mix. Your mixture should be good and mixed together. 
Now you're going to get your 9 by 13 baking dish. You're going to spray it with some non-stick cooking oil and you're going to lay this, spread it out in your 9 by 13. All right, once you've got it in your 9 by 13, you're going to take the rest of your cheese, which is half a cup of cheese, and two tablespoons of bacon bits or bacon pieces and sprinkle that on top. Now you'll place this in your preheated oven, which should have been preheated to 350 degrees. You'll place it in there uncovered for 30 minutes and it should be heated through. And then we'll take a look at it. Okay, so it cooked for 31 minutes. And this is what it looks like. It looks so good. My house smells amazing. Greg just got home from work about 10 minutes ago and he saw it when I took it out. And he said it looks so good. So, this is, will serve eight people. So, one cup is one serving and that is nine WW Smart Points. If you don't care about points, eat as much as you want. This is going to be so good. Cannot wait to have it. If you like the recipe videos, make sure you're giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know if this is something that you're going to try. If you try this recipe, I would love it if you guys took a picture, went over to Instagram, and tagged me in your picture. My Instagram uh, name is down below in the description box. I would love to see who all is trying it. I thought about even maybe doing a giveaway of people who try recipes. We'll see. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.